We are now joined by Khateng's MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, that's Mzi Kumalo. MEC, thank you for, for being with us. The new mayor has been quoted as saying there's no need to be concerned about service delivery. But what do you think? Surely we should worry or should we be worried that somebody who's a relative unknown again is dealing with a big municipality with a budget of billions of rand? Good evening to you and good evening to, your, to the viewers at home. Uh, well, I was in the municipal offices when the mayor was elected and I listened to the mayor when he presented uh, his budget speech. I've not picked up the part where he says uh, he is not concerned of uh, service delivery. Uh, but what I heard, uh, he had um, outlined about uh, nine pillars of the government of local unity. Um, at the core of those nine pillars are all matters that relate to um, uh, service delivery uh, as such. So I, I wouldn't know where, where he made that statement that he's not concerned of, of service delivery. Yeah. Because no, no let, me, let me clarify. He's, he's made a commitment that he cares uh, deeply about service delivery. But the issue of uh, mayors changing, uh, a lot of the parties have uh, downplayed that in, in uh, any way, um, regardless of what the mayor said today. Uh, but they've, they've downplayed it and said, it's OK, things will continue to happen on the ground. However, we're hearing from residents and we're hearing from um, uh, concerned analysts saying that there's a huge link between those mayoral struggles, uh, the leadership battles at the top and what is happening on the ground. Well, I, I, think, I think we should understand how a municipality works. So a municipality um, uh, passed its budget around June and the budget comes into effect on the 1st of July of each uh, every financial year. So the budget that is in uh, uh, Johannesburg now was passed in on the 1st of uh, July of uh, 2022. And, and that budget becomes the commitment at which the municipality uh, works on the basis of, in terms of the programs that they're implementing. And, and the, that budget gets adjusted once uh, in, in that financial year. And that adjustment would have happened around February, March. And once the adjustment, adjustment has been made, it means the commitment that are made in that particular budget remains until a new budget is, 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 is adopted as such. So that's, that's the, the first thing I want to clarify. So it means that um, from an administrative point of view, the budget that was adopted and adjusted by the municipality is the budget that will carry us uh, between now until the new budget on the 1st of July. However, the importance of uh, having the executive mayor at this particular time is the fact that in the period that you are in, municipalities have had a draft budget presented before them for the next financial year 2023-2024 linked to those draft budget are matters of the IDP, the integrated development plans. So the law says the, the, the municipal, um, the mayor of a municipality must make determination of the need of that particular municipality. So it means that with that draft budget and the IDPs that were presented in that municipality, the mayor must then go and consult communities with the, on, on, on the basis of, of the needs that are to be determined. And we think that's the, 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 the first task that the executive, the new executive member must do. Linked to that is, of course, a reviewing of the IDP and taking into account the new IDPs uh, that are in the draft uh, IDP uh, document as, 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 as it is. So if you take the totality of that into account, you, you will easily come to a conclusion that yes, um, the changing of mayors does disrupt uh, service delivery, but uh, to a large extent, service delivery does continue despite uh, uh, these uh, changes that are happening. And in Johannesburg, it's unfortunate that the then executive mayor had actually resigned 
uh, something that uh, it is difficult to can deal with because if a person decides to 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 resign, that's it, and 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 there's a need for 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 for, for a municipality to fill that particular vacancy. So in Johannesburg, it was all about filling the vacancy rather than um, the mayor being removed uh, by motion of no confidence as such. Yeah, sure. Um, and we go from budget to budget, uh, but you've also indicated that different mayors have uh, different priorities. Uh, they, they will emphasize different things. And I'm glad you brought up communities. Our governance expert earlier said this should be a bottom-up process. Like you said, the mayor should be hearing from communities on the ground. So what... What do you do with the fact, MEC, that the South Africans we are talking to tonight, the people who live in Johannesburg mainly, are saying they feel forgotten. Nothing they say or do ever gets considered. Their needs are not considered. And the experts are also saying that there isn't a bottom-up approach. Um, it, it really comes from the top. These plans are made. I mean, these mayors that are fighting for their political survival, how do they even have the time to go and find out what communities need? Well, I, I, I really sympathize with that particular view, but also I think uh, ourselves as society uh, are to blame, are to be blamed, including uh, yourselves as the media houses and so on. What is the point that I'm raising? The point that I'm raising is that um, there is a bottom-up approach in the municipality because the IDP are primarily the needs that have been identified through the engagement discussions and meetings that are taking place at a ward level. The unfortunate thing is that those meetings and those activities are not given the media attention that uh, the resignation of the mayor or the replacement of the mayor would, would, would receive. To that extent, it can create in the minds of people that the only thing that uh, um, we are concerned about, it's, it's about our own replacement and so on. But if things were fairly communicated and fairly uh, coverage was done on those activities that are taking place, um, um, the communities might have a, a different view as such. And then largely, if those meetings are convened by those particular ward councillors and together with members of the mayoral committee, and the administration of the municipal communities, many of us should be attending and it, 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 it will uh, uh, change. The sh as I'm talking to you, so, I know that as, as, as mean, late as today, yeah. there are other municipalities that engage on community meetings to determine the needs of that uh, particular communities. MEC, are you, are you saying we should focus on the good news or meetings that are taking place rather than uh, a whole municipality's residents saying that their, their trash is not being picked up? Um, whole swaths of Soweto saying they have no power, the, the roads are just impossible to navigate. The point I'm making is we shouldn't create in the mind of the residents of the city of Johannesburg, that the only concern that those councillors that are elected there is about the replacement of mayors and is about okay. their own positions. No, I don't think right. we should do that. What I'm saying is that those councillors assist with the work of consulting communities on those challenges that you are making reference to, the fact that they, they in some instances, refuse is not uh, removed as, as per uh, timetable, the roads uh, are not looking good, storm water, the sewage, spillage all over and so on. And that uh, uh, the, the, the ward councillors in their consultation with communities are engaged in an, in an attempt to address those particular issues. So the point really I'm making is that we shouldn't create a situation that suggests yeah. that uh, everything else is not happening except uh, the replacement. All right, sure. And I, I guess it depends on the ward councillor, but we have heard from several people tonight saying that their ward councillor simply uh, does not care. Thank you for your time, Khating MEC for Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs, Mzee Kumalo.